Hey guys, what's up everyone? So recently I was just scrolling through my Twitter feed and I saw James Gunn's name pop up and it was very heartbreaking and sad. Um, if you guys don't know, he just got fired from Disney and Marvel um, from directing Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 and um, he's uh, they cut ties with them because um, of tweets on Twitter that he tweeted. Uh, back in the early or the late 2000s, 2008, 2009, 2010, and wrote on topics such as like pedophilia and rape. So, yeah, so it was very, um, very heartbreaking because I, he was a guy I was, I really looked up to. He, I mean, he started Guardians Galaxy. He's the one that gave it this indie, just punk funky vibe just colorful vibe he started guardians of the galaxy and it was great it responded well to everybody everyone loves guardians of the galaxy and just kind of heartbreaking um the stuff that he tweeted it's just you know a very insensitive offensive and it's really it's just really sad and i mean he you know, if you guys know James Gunn's work, you know, he wrote the Scooby-Doo movies, the live action ones, and he, um, he directed and wrote, uh, an indie horror film called Slither, and it came out in, like, 2006, and that was one of, like, that was, like, the first scary movie, like, I really was terrified at, and I, oh my god, it scared me, I remember watching it, and I was, like, oh my god, I was, like, seven or eight years old, and I shouldn't have been watching that film, but, it was it was a great horror film and it just and then he went on did uh gardens of the galaxy volume one and two and I, amazing films i love them so it's really once again it's just really heartbreaking you know to have one of these guys these filmmakers these super skilled super talented filmmakers and writers um, saying this kind of stuff, you know, very insensitive, offensive stuff, and it's really sad. Um, he did, um, you guys, if you know, if you guys want to check it out, he did, you know, do an apology on Twitter. Um, like a, he did a thread of it, like about six, seven, eight tweets. So I read the apology. It seemed very heartfelt and everything, but you know, you still have to take responsibility for you know what you said even if it was 10 years ago and I don't doubt that he's a changed person now and he is very you know sincere about his apology he's very in he really is true and he really is truly apologetic um so yeah but you know you gotta the actions the business decisions that Disney had to do it had to be done so just very sad and um yeah so if you guys have any comments um leave them in the description below what you guys think about this and yeah don't be uh don't be afraid to share your opinions peace